And welcome everybody here in Twitch chat and everybody on YouTube for some Twisted Elise. This is a deck that's been picking up in popul popularity quite a bit. We've been playing against it a whole lot over the last four or five days or so. Um, this is a deck that is built around Go Hard and uh, having lots and lots of card draw to find more Go Hards. This, of course, again, just like all the other decks for today, uh, found these decks on the leaderboard from just uh, random players. I'm sorry I didn't write down their names to give credit. Um, but this one, uh, uh, I did actually change two cards um, before we played this. The, the version that uh, was in here had two Chronicler of Ruins, and I just don't think this is going to be a very good Chronicler of Ruin deck. Like The best target, of course, is Zap Sprayfin, but if you don't have a Zap Sprayfin in play, there's really not very good targets. You have like Petty Officer, Pool Shark, and Dreadway Deckhand that can, you know you can maybe do a little bit with. But I just think that it's going to be a dead card too often. So I wanted another Glimpse Beyond because I won more card draw. And so we're going to play another Glimpse Beyond. And then also a second Ruination. We've been very impressed with Ruination over the last few days in different decks. And so I wanted another one of those. But yeah, anyway, our deck's all about drawing cards, as we were talking about, you know, Pool Shark. And because that's the thing, it's like Pool Shark can do like the whole fleeting thing sometimes. And sometimes sometimes early on you accidentally hit like Vengeance, Ruination early on with the fleeting, and then you don't have removal after that. And so I, I wanted to just have another copy of those in case that happened. Um, but you know, like, so we have Salvage, we have Glimpse Beyond, we have the Pool Shark, we have Fortune Croaker. Um, we have spray fin that draws so tons and tons of card draw and we're going to basically be trying to continue to draw cards and get to be cast get to cast uh four go hards with all the cards that we draw because then you know after the third one then the fourth one of course is the pack your bags and that can wipe their board besides that we're going to be trying to level up twisted fate so that's going to be the other thing we're going to be doing so we try to level up twisted fate try to um play four go hards and also just do tons of chip shot damage we have a really low curve which helps with pool shark and so we have the ability to go wide with this deck and so we're just trying to get a lot of chip shot damage in and finish them off um with you know like the variety of ways there so let's go ahead and give this a try we're gonna go play five games over in ranked we'll see how this deck is vladimir soraka People in chat here were saying that another good option for this deck could be... Um, I, I should probably mulligan at least two. Could be Gangplank. Going a little bit bigger. I'm using Gangplank. I basically feel like against Vladimir, Soraka, like this kind of deck, I, I feel like Ruination is going to be awesome. And so keeping the Ruination... Kind of waiting I found my with my plan being ruination. Being patient. I don't change fate if I can see it. Star Spring deck, that makes sense. Gonna discard another Star Spring. Here's where I'd paint my constellation. A space Sketcher. It's nothing personal. This is outrage. Five cards left. I think we'll be fine. 
I'd never keep my guests waiting. Okay, let's see. I'm gonna just play this, get rid of the spell shield. That'll be the first order, so we'll we will vengeance that card at next turn. Sure, waste my time. Man is making my boy. Let's go blue card. Blue as the serpent eye. Eight, nine, ten. So I'll have three extra mana besides Vengeance. Let's keep it there. We don't need to play another Pool Shark. Where can I find a pool Something the matter. Easy. I guess might as well block here in case of Bastion. Yuck. Well, now we're in trouble. We have been in trouble before, but now we are. My Scratched. And now we are in trouble. Alright, so this is going to be three go-hards. Of course, no reason to to target the regeneration from Vladimir. This will put this, you know, it'll heal one, so it'll go back to five. Can't really go over five anyway, though. Hmm. All that vengeance. That was a clutch. Clutch Bastion. There's plenty of killing left. I should have I should have passed also. They passed right there. I shouldn't have played this. Okay, well they still passed anyway, so. Worked out. There's a pack your bags. Looking for some action Ed? Blood exists to be pumped, no? Correct, I... Correct, we only have one more Ruination that can kill this Vladimir. Could potentially block and grasp the Undying? That's a little far-fetched, but... They weren't playing anything before, like, you know, last turn, and so it felt like they just had a lot more protection spells, but they could also be playing around Ruination. Maybe another go hard. I have the bag. I need the reputation. Mm, such rich blood. I'm absolutely pumped. That creates another Crimson card for them. Okay, and just three mana left. I hope they cannot protect Vladimir here, because obviously I don't want it to regenerate, regenerate and go back to nine health and heal eight towards the Star Spring, basically. All right, good. Basically wins the game for them right there. <laughs> By itself. Alright, so Sprayfin leaves me with 8 mana, so I can't go Sprayfin, Ruination. You must teach me when you have time. I'll think about it. 
Come closer. I don't bite. Yeah, I'm gonna try the Elise, see if they play like this other Crimson unit. Remember your lessons? Teach me again. Just to be sure. First. You know, trade traded Elise for the Crimson Disciple. I was hoping for something better, but you know, we'll take that. The possibilities mm. are infinite. We shall weave our own destiny. I'd wow. keep my guests lazy. <laughs> Those are the last two draws for their turns. For Vladimir and Soraka. Hey, morning tea time. Good afternoon. Be at peace. We should be doing that the other way around. You leave me no choice. There they go. <laughs> oh no! Crystal Ibex give that overwhelm? Oh man. Oh man, I really wish I didn't cast that ruination right now. Ouch. Wow, you know, like I was planning on just you know blocking the six six and and glimpse beyond. Oh, I think has ruination too. You know? Yeah, I don't know. I don't know what the plan is now. One suffers, another thrives. That was a Vladimir's transfusion, so they just so they actually just had another even though they just drew Vladimir, they had a Vladimir in hand, so they Yeah, so they just weren't whenever they were sitting back not playing stuff, they were just playing around another ruination. This should be us dying pretty soon. Like a fish in water. <laughs> I served for decades, and you call on me now. Someone who understands a wound's lesson. So I cannot kill Soraka. Unless they block with Soraka or Vladimir. I need them to block with either Varak Soraka or Vladimir. And I also, of course, need them to have no healing. It's possible if they have no healing. All their Vladimir's and Soraka's. I just really need to wait on. I I tried to play Ruination and then have a bunch of units. I should have just kept playing more units and and wait wait on Ruination for the champions. Went too too early on those. want to go Fortune Croaker on the Elise and have Elise die to Mystic Shot. And that is why. Scratched. 
All right, so we would have had it salvage as the pool shark card. And now it's go hard. We could use some bite. So they like block a 1-1, one, one, their Eye of the Dragon's 2 health, and then I... Okay, I was gonna say like they could make that 2 health, and then I have, you know, Powder Cake go hard. Didn't quite happen like that. Play this go hard and then play spray fin. Let's do that. Gotta go with the flow. They are getting a draggling. What is gained when we return malevolence? Do you stand on cold shots? If I kill you, I don't fuck you, stupid. Cool. So now, you know, did all that so they don't have they don't have removal for the powder keg now. And go hard to kill this thing before they get another draggling the next turn. Oh no, I have a bear behind me. <laughs> oh, no, never mind. Just a dog. Against Ezreal Karma, it's just such a spell-heavy deck. I think it's good to play more things before combat because they're just, you know, like for the most part, they just want to play spells anyway. That's probably the singular card uh, that makes that bad. You know, like Concussive Palm. That's fine because they just, you know, stun something and then they would block that thing anyway. So if I would have attacked immediately, we would have dealt 5 damage to them. We still do 5 damage to them, but now we just have our 2-2. Uh, you know, hit the... The chump wall for 2. We didn't lose out on any damage, and that's like the... You know, worst case scenario. I want to Vengeance that thing? I want to save Vengeance for Karma. No, let's just Vengeance this thing. Watch out, Harvey. What are you doing? I... Watch and learn. <laughs> well, we look like we can draw two. Give us some room. Uh, excuse you. So their Ezreal's not leveled up yet. There's plenty of killing there. They try targeting one of these. I'll use Glimpse Beyond. Sounds dangerous. I'm in. Nailed it. Hmm. All right, so that will level up Ezreal.
Who's going upstairs? Firing. So I wonder if they're going to play Karma. Yeah, they're, they're scared to play Karma now. <sighs> yeah, I could go K, gold card. Yeah, let's do that. Yeah, I'm gonna try to kill Ezreal. I'm always up for a round or two. Holy partner. No way. I taste Ooh. Purple. That is not karma. I like not karma. Come out. Never lost a fair game. All right, another gold card to kill Tasty Fae Folk. And they only have four cards. This is going to be difficult for them to deal with. My spirit is an unquenchable fire. Ionia speaks through me. The game. Go on then. Watch the ball, folks. Folks. So if they deny this, the other ones will still be. Pack your bags, I assume. And so I could I could potentially salvage into another one. One and one. In the card. Okay. Another late game deck. <laughs> Played against three late game decks. I guess we'll just keep Dreadway deck hand to be that, but we're just gonna keep the card draw. Want to find Twisted Fate and have that in play for us drawing cards? That would be nice. Nothing like a stink of blood and sweat. The dead don't need riches. Didn't know the box is just with you. Don't know much, do ya? Okay. I can see they had, they could have played like Mountain Go challenge there, that would have been sad. We gonna draw all the cards. Sunlight guide you, my brethren. Suppose you want in on this. Oh, suppose I should leave you be. No. All right, like the pool shark. on the the three four I want to I want to do this for two while we have this powder keg no let's put it over here yeah I think it's better on the Solari so that we can you know attack and they have one less blocker probably just go doom beast on 12 the thing is, they have a good amount of Nexus healing. This isn't this isn't really reliable or anything. Reconsider. They do heal their Nexus quite a bit. 
All right, good. No Heimerdinger. I like that. Looking for a go hard. Cool. My journey ends. Perfect. Yeah, no Vi and no. Vi well, at least last turn. <laughs> and now there's Vi. Uh, want a goal card? Never lost a fair game. Yeah, no Vi, no Heimer on turn five was very good for us. I'm playing both pool sharks. Watch the ball, folks. Go on then. Watch the ball, folks. Hmm. If I kill you, I don't fuck you, stupid. So that's four. This brings up a healing, not stripping. Give us some room. I'm worried about doing pick a card and them killing my twisted dates. This will help. There's nothing to fear. Try it. Maybe they have no mystic shots. So we get. Ooh, they passed. No mystic shot. Let's go. We're not gonna go hard though. Just regular go. Don't want to go too hard. I'll be waiting for you. Back at the table. So do I want to play Salvage or Fortune Croaker? We draw two cards of Salvage. We only draw one with Fortune Croaker, but Fortune Croaker does get us the extra mana. If I play Fortune, I could go Fortune Croaker and Elise Crawling Sensation, and if we draw something that costs two mana, I guess. So we do all three of those to get to get to gold card. All it does, all gold card does, is deal one damage to Vi. That doesn't seem that important. Let's let's draw two cards. Man, we cannot find Go Hard. Blue as the Serpentine. I was thinking that drawing two cards would give us a better opportunity of drawing a go hard. So that's two out of three. Soak it in. Yes, now we can play Zap or Salvage. <clears throat> um, probably Zap. Go 
Not ideal. We play in build rules, son. Last card. <laughs> Pack your bags. Trying to kill this Vi. Alright, good. Got Vi out of here, they're down to four. Down to three. Alright, so we got another twist of fate. Now so we're gonna start there. We do we can't target our own. We can't target our, our own unit. Alright, so we're out of Twisted Fates. Excuse me. We want to get more Go Hards into the deck. We'll go ahead and do that. Living a legend. The light of my star warms the heavens. Well then. I've whipped up something special. All hands on deck. They know this is the card. Like if they're paying attention, they know this is the card that Sprayfin grabbed. And so I'm casting a different card. Kind of representing that I still have something that Sprayfin grabbed. Don't know if that's like a worthwhile representation or not. I'll just pass. I'm doing this my way. Or what? The highway? Playing on powder keg, pack your bags. And then, you know, so they probably had to use removal on the, the powder keg to stay alive, because this is six damage. And then assuming they do that, they go down to one, I Doom Beast. Okay, good. Yeah, it's no no star shaping. Okay, good. No guiding touch either. All right, should be GGs. There we go, two and one. All right, let's see how we do against the aggro deck. Did this all make sense to me? Keep this all. Could have traded with the Jagged Butcher, but chose not Come to. Closer. 
I don't bite. Uh, the the two two will block the one one. We could use a bite. You poor thing. Now I'm going to attack immediately with just Elise. I won't have the 2-1 die to Elise even uh, even though I have a go hard in hand. Because yeah, I was hoping that they would block the 1-1. One -1, and I can have Powder Keg go hard. For the Empire. For the glory of okay. I don't need to use the powder keg there anymore. I guess I still do, though, because I don't think that playing Fortune Croaker here... I, I like having 2-3 Elise, and I don't really want them just to be able to challenge Powder Keg, so I guess I'm just going to have the Powder Keg just... It heals an extra 1, because it is a drain, so even though the extra 1 point of damage doesn't matter, at least we heal an additional 1. do everything the same next time all right let's go with the go hard on this 4-1 i think that's a, just a good opportunity to use this card so obviously i'm not gonna be able to block that fearsome and our, our life total is at 18 so we do get the ability to drain one What's that you got there? You got legs. Use them. taking two I like just going and immediately attacking again before they play a blocker for Elise. We don't really need to get these things out before attacking. Let's just go right to attacks. Your path ends here. So young. A game. Go on then. Let's just go Fortune Croaker and keep the Glimpse Beyond available. Yeah, let's do that. I don't, change fate, I can see it. don't really need a Doom Beast train right now. Alright, we're gonna lead with the Salvage. Ooh, never mind. Never lost a fair game. Or played one. Good. I was hoping I was going to do the Frenzied Skitter with the Fearsome. I wasn't sure, you know, with Doom Beast and Frenzied Skitter, if it would just automatically do the thing on the left or, you know, what it was going to do. I'm glad it was that. And we're not going to have very good blocks this turn, but we have a lot more cards in hand, so it's, it's okay that we can throw away some units. Okay, two out of three. Let's make that three out of three and shuffle two more in here before we start drawing more cards. Okay. We're getting to the territory where we're, where we're probably going to need to play a Doom Beast, but I wanted to play one of these things. I guess I can still go Doom Beast and then Fortune Croaker. Won't be able to salvage. If we do that, we can Fortune Croaker. Yeah, I want to get rid of the Fearsome unit you know, with the gold card. That's what I was trying to do. Closed. 
Yeah, you gotta have tons of draw for go hard. Which is why it's so good in this deck, because this deck does have tons of card draw. Alright, this one looks very good for us. We're at seven. Wow, Omen Hawk. That was a really good hit. Alright, GG's. Three and one. Those packer bags uh, definitely made us look pretty good against aggro, but they didn't have very much fearsome. Alright, game number five. A really soul trundle. Those things are going to be pretty big. I'm glad we have two Ruination. We're kind of in an odd spot. Like, I think that I mulligan the Gohards, even though it's kind of the point of our deck. Cool. Great Elise draw. I pull the strings. Ooh. Great Elise draw, even better Solari Shield Bearer. Burn away, doubt. All hands on deck. We're going to try to uh, go hard the Solari Shield Bearer. What will you have? That's cool that if I had one more mana, would be able to Crawling Sensation also with the Powder Keg. Like if this was if this was Dreadway Deckhand instead of Petty Officer. Could do both of those. this works. Uh, draining this Troll Scavenger. There's a lot of cards they can have. They can stop this. Like that one. Adding touch has been pretty good. So young. So we've played two Packer bags so far, or two Go Hards. Gotta go with the flow. I'm planning on just attacking with the elusives. Brutal. 
Would have loved to just hold that for, you know, really in souls and stuff like that. Alright, maybe I should have glimpsed beyond. I was thinking that they would they were gonna kill my Elise, and then I was gonna play a new Elise. Uh, I regret that. I, I wish I would have just glimpsed beyond a spray thin. Ah, oh, vengeance gone. So Ruination and Avengers gone. Try to have one mana kill Trundle. That's pretty good. Twisted Fate yet, have we? There we go. Deal me in. Dead in their tracks. Please no really in soul. We know that they have something that costs eight plus from the from their beholding earlier. Challenge. No, I wanted that challenge. I'm going to sacrifice this and play new Elise. These weren't very good cards. Just one more card draw. Basically, just one more spells. Yuck. Those are very good. Yeah, those those were not very good. Skitter out from the darkness. Don't want these, just want spells. Play card draw. This can maybe do four damage to them. Okay. So seven life, closer to draining them out. So good. Suppose you want in on this. Oh, I suppose I should leave you. Alright, there are two. Uh where's the card draw? Does Eclipse Dragon just always make a mortal fire or something? Is that a rule that I don't know about? No. That's probably a rule somewhere.
only this can go to the Nexus. This thing hasn't died, so it just get it would get fully healed. I don't think there's anything in our deck that keeps us alive. Oh, the, from them just open attacking. I guess. Oh, I guess vengeance. I guess I needed to do that to the the six two for vengeance. Alright, so we ended up 3-2. and two. We'll take that. Good winning record. Overall, good good day. You know, a couple of 3-2s. Three, and twos, uh, three, three and 2s and then a 2-3. and three. So overall, overall definitely a good day. Um, so yeah, as, as I was talking about this before, how I think the Go Hard's the most overrated card right now in Legends of Runeterra, but I think this is a very good Go Hard deck. So I think this is this is the kind of deck that you have to have for Go Hard where you where you do have so much card draw. And this deck realistically can gets to play four Go Hards each game. You know, gets to the pack your bags. You know, like that's a that's something that happens you know very real realistically every single game. And that's what makes this a very good Go Hard deck. I haven't really liked Go Hard where the thing that I, I haven't really liked Go Hard in the uh, Ezreal decks. You know, like, there's been uh, Ezreal Shadow Isles. Those don't have enough card draw. And honestly, even the Karma decks, like the Spooky Karma, Gohard hasn't looked very good in those decks for me either. I just don't think they have enough card draw either. So that's that's where I haven't really been liking Gohard. But this was definitely a good Gohard deck. Um, I could see this deck being played with Gangplank instead of Elise. I mentioned that earlier, too, of, of going bigger. And... Um, you know, maybe, maybe even just like making it more of a um, more of a control deck with Twisted Fate, Gangplank, and you know maybe maybe not Pool Shark. You could still play you know maybe not Pool Shark Elise. You could still play plenty of um, plenty of card draw. You know you could still get your three Salvage, three Glimpse Beyond, um, your three Spray Fins. You can still have plenty of card draw. And maybe even have like more of like more vengeance, grass the undying, withering whale. You know, basically like that that kind of stuff that's really good with powder kegs. I think you could still do that with Go Hard as well. Yeah, so there we go. So that's Twisted Elise. All right, anyway, those of y'all watching later on YouTube, hit that like button over there and leave those comments. If you've been playing this deck, let me know how it's been going for you. How have you been liking it, uh, Twisted Fate Elise? And if you have any suggestions for any other uh, ways that you've been playing the deck. Um, yeah, feel free to put those in the comments. I always love seeing those. But anyway, thank you so much for watching, um, and I will see you for the next video.